Hi, it's Ron, and I'm here with Yaroslav. Yaroslav. And Yaroslav, you are going to show me some things uh, directly on the screen now. You got yep. Fast Search set up here for SharePoint 2010. That's right. And I wanted to see uh, why Fast Search is different than um, the out of the box standard search that comes with SharePoint. So maybe you could show me why. Yeah, absolutely. So there's a couple of things that are different in uh, Fast Search and versus SharePoint Search. Uh, obviously, those are better. Those are improvements. So, uh, for instance, here, uh, let's uh, search for the word presentation. Well, you'll, you'll see that right away. I have a suggestion here. It comes up for both fast and uh, SharePoint search. Okay. So I'm gonna hit that uh, word presentation as a search uh, query. And uh, one thing you'll notice. So there's a bunch of uh, PowerPoint slides. But one thing you'll notice there is a preview that came up here. Preview of the actual presentation. And if I click on the preview button here, you'll actually see the presentation oh, wow, slide. that's cool. So, yeah. so that wasn't there in standard. SharePoint standard? Still not. So yes. you can't click preview and actually flip through the document here. You, you cannot. Yeah, exactly. And this is only available with fast. So that's, that's pretty handy in terms of, you know, you're searching for things and you're like, okay, this sounds like a document that I'm looking for, but right. is it really? Or maybe it's just a four or is it some sort of a draft with four slides yeah. versus full presentation. So that's one of the things. Very cool. So one of the other things that uh, I wanted to show you is uh, visual web, uh, visual uh, best bets. So in uh, SharePoint 2010, there is a uh, you know the concept of best bets when you search for some term, and then uh, the best bet describing that term comes up. So right. you can hit the site right away. Uh, in uh, fast search, you can have a visual web, uh, best bet. So for instance, in here I'm searching for KTC, and I see my logo as the as the uh, you know particular best bet, and also worth mentioning in fast search, uh, not only I can target best bet and search results, uh, you know just just describe them in visual as visual best bets, but I can also target them depending depending on the user context who's logged in. So for instance, if I have a member of a sales team logging in and searching for something, he probably is interested in the same type of information but more related to sales. Uh, yes. And for instance, if I'm a technical person. Um, you know, the information is more related, uh, you know, let's say product specifications. So we're both searching for a product name, but the sales guys is gonna, are going to get, uh, you know, sales related information, maybe some promotions for customers, versus the technical guys are going to get specs and things like that. And it's really easy to set up and um, it's not even based on the SharePoint security context, it's based more on the, uh, um, on, on the user profile, so I can have a variety of different user profile properties such as department, yeah. uh, my skills, I can even create my own custom properties okay. to describe users and use them to uh, refine them in my search. So that's that's pretty much uh, one of the few things that I wanted to show you. Okay, yeah. well that's great. And that's different than out of the box, out of the box, Absolutely. I just would have my standard results. Absolutely, yes. Um, right, yeah. and we got phone ringing. We'll ignore that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there's a couple of more things, but uh, we'll, we'll speed probably... wise did fast fast search speeds things up over yes. standard search as well too. Yeah, so it's faster and uh, obviously right, and uh, yeah. um, also it, it has ability to index more documents. So it's for larger scale organizations. So for instance, 500 million documents versus standard SharePoint search. I think it's 100 million. Okay. If you're a smaller organization, that doesn't make a difference. How about the content within those documents. Mm -hmm. if, if I have SharePoint standard mm -hmm. and I have not enabled fast search, yeah. does it still crawl the in internal parts of every document? Yeah, absolutely. It, it crawls, but the crawling algorithm is a little bit more refined in fast search. So you're getting, you know, it's something that you can't really measure. Uh, easily, but you're getting sort of a better results when you're searching. In fast search. No. Uh, in fast search, I can only get in SharePoint Enterprise. I can't get that yes. SharePoint standard. Yes, that's right. Okay. So it's an add-on to, to your enterprise. Okay. So what I'm hearing mm -hmm. is the main advantages of SharePoint fast search are it should search a little faster. Yeah. I have that preview pane. Yep. I have visual best bets. And I have one other thing that we didn't talk about now, but we talked about in our prior video, mm -hmm. which was those refiners. Refiners, yes. You oh, get more okay. refiners, which is the panel on the left here. Right. Um, and those are automatically created based on the metadata in the document. So it's not like you have to configure them. They're automatically created. So let's say you're searching for something, and you're like, oh, okay. Um, turns out I can refine it by the company name. 
Right. And because corporately we set that up as a metadata thing on a document. Exactly. Okay. So, um, excellent. Yeah. Great. Great. Uh, and we've got it set up internally here and it's working great. I like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah. thanks. So, tell me, Yaroslav, where can people find you on the web? So on the web, I'm at thesharemuch.com, that's my blog, and I also work at KnowledgeTech. Okay, and I'm rondajusty.com, and I also work at KnowledgeTech.